Corrosion test to electrochemical impedance spectroscopy. So uh, this method uh, is actually a non-destructive method uh, in which uh, in which it can be done in laboratory as well as inside. So it is an expertise modeling and uh, it is a uh, uh, work uh, using uh, formulas and tablets. So how it works? So basically, uh, electrochemical impedance uh, spectroscopy is uh, like a uh, equipment uh, uh, which has an uh, electrode uh, which uh, which is uh, used to measure the um, uh, corrosion. Uh, by means of uh, tabulation, uh, by means of uh, difference uh, uh, in the frequency uh, which has been uh, recorded. So the basically uh, how it works is that uh, this diagram uh, explains that uh, a signal is passed onto the sample uh, by the electro uh, potential and the response is uh, also recorded in the potential. So this uh, response is uh, uh, evaluated uh, with respect to other uh, pre-recorded data and then the interpretation is made. To find the uh, rate of course. So an experimental setup is, uh, is nothing but a uh, measuring cell uh, coated with an uh, coated with uh, coated with a special chemical layer uh, according to the need, and it is basically an uh, electrochemical cell uh, with an electrode and an electrolyte film. So using a uh, frequency uh, uh, required frequency and a uh, uh, voltage uh, uh, and a uh, wave is recorded, and the wave is. Uh, Evaluated with respect to other uh, results uh, desired pre, uh, priority. So this is basically uh, the sketch of the basic cell. So data interpretation. So so basically this data is interpreted by uh, uh, the coating, uh, the special coating which is given on the metal uh, uh, is shown in the figure uh, as an uh, as an uh, resonance wave is pa uh, passed through the sample. Uh, there will be a uh, response in means of a sinusoidal wave. This wave is uh, also uh, is uh, compared with uh, respective uh, waves, uh, which are uh, in uh, pre other cases. Uh, and an evaluation is uh, done using uh, provenance softwares and formulas. Uh, this data is interpreted to find the rate of corrosion. So this method is an effective method uh, to find the rate of corrosion. Thank you.